Tia O. <laughs> You're not going to put me on any spot. I'm going to say it as it comes to my head. But honestly, um, I'm not supporting people to go into <laughs> cyber crimes and all that. I'm not in support. But really, to 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 be honest, this cyber crime, whatever they call it, it's it has helped a lot of people. I won't lie. In all honesty, this country, there is no please let me just there is no hope in this country. There is there is in fact they've forgotten that we even exist to be sincere. They like they just want us to you people should be there. We keep on governing you people. I mean these people don't have no plans for us. So I feel if things were better, honestly, I know I know the youth, I know a lot of people will do better. A lot of people will do better for real. Because even in school, if them SARS comes around, you feel me, and it comes around and uh, a lot of these guys are not around and everybody vanish, trying to hide. You hear even people that clean the hostel, people that are mobs, be saying, ah, oh, everything is hard now. No money to eat. All these boys are not around. Though. Even to the people, the bike men, to the lowest people working, you feel people complaining that oh, money is not circulating. All these boys are not around because. A normal bike that will carry me for like 100 naira that me, I'll be complaining about that. No, ah, why are you taking me from that? You say you want to collect 100 naira. Yeah, we guys are giving 500, 600. And that will go a long way in their life. Some people give them 1,000. That will go a long way in their life, in their family. Some people have a, a, a bike on their own that they just pay for the phone and, and, and the bike man takes them anywhere they want to go to and they pay them monthly. So if you look, I'm not saying that, I'm not encouraging like, Sabakram is good, but actually, it's more of the positive than the negative, honestly. A lot of people are enjoying from that food chain, for real. So I'm not really here to condemn anybody because if you know policemen get to arrest them, they'll still collect money from them. And they'll still be asking them, how much do you have in your account? So that they will know how exactly they are going to build them. They check your account and realize you don't have any money. So we are come on 20,000, 50,000 an hour. But eventually rich. Ah. So all I'm saying is, <laughs> I'm not going to condemn anybody. I'm not saying that it's a good thing. But honestly, it has helped. At least it has, it has re reduced, um, what do you call it, kidnapping in some, in some ways. It has reduced um, ritual in some ways. I'm serious, for real. So I will not really blame other people. I'm not really, no, nah, don't put me on this spot, man, please. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm not going to say it is good or it's not good. We accept people one way or the other, for real. You see young guys having car, having house, living in, because they live their lives, soft. I'm not talking about the big, greedy ones or this one that always push everything to your face. I'm talking about the ones that are actually responsible in their own way, kind of be, get a nice shop for their parents, their mom. Yeah, those kind of things. Because hmm, if you finish school, nothing, there's nothing. No. I'm not supporting anybody, honestly. But the school I've been to, when I got there, the school I've been to actually exposed me to make me see things differently with the way I used to see it. Because if they are cool and you are cool, nobody is disturbing anybody. Everybody is on their own. So actually, it's, it's of the good and the bad. I'm not condemning anybody. But, but with, with this country, honestly, if there's no cyber crime in this country, I swear. People will be selling people's part of the body, life and direct. People will be into ritual, like real life, honestly. So, I'm not here to condemn it. If the country is actually better, I mean, a lot of all these things will not be happening. Because nobody likes being harassed by the police. Nobody, nobody likes you going out and they'll be scared. Of, okay, if one of these people comes to this place and what is going to happen to me? Everybody likes peace of mind. Everybody wants to have a legal job. Hey, but, I mean, nobody likes Wala. I don't know. People, some people like Wala, but me, I don't like Wala. So I feel if the country is better now, ah, my well, boy, you know, go to do G. That's all I know. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so I'm not spoiling or spoiling anybody. But please don't rub it on people's face. If people want to be responsible, let them be responsible. If you want to do your own, yeah, we let people do their own, yeah. But don't be rubbing it on people's face. It's really unfair. You're making people that are, are trying to make. They are way illegally, making them look as if they are not doing anything. It's not easy. Like you coming to the club, spending 10, 10 million, 5 million on drinks and women. It's unfair. It's unfair. Maybe, maybe the Osh Poppy case will teach some of them lessons to risk. Take their steps. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> wow!
think so. That is possibility, <laughs> honestly. I think so. When I see um some certain kind of girl sometimes, I'll be like, oh, this guy is fine. <laughs> I don't know whether that's a good thing or not. Yeah, I think I can. For real. <laughs> and I get I, I used to get message on it a lot. Yes, Anytime I run. Anytime I do that. Ah, yeah. <laughs>